What's up everybody? We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to be talking about BDSM, kinks, but mainly psychology and safe sex. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, but I'm also really into psychology and everything like that. And all of this is intertwined with mental health and how our minds work. And I try to teach people things that can help improve our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so I wanted to hop on and make this video real quick. Um, I saw a tweet kind of blowing up. Uh, it's this tweet right here where it basically says like if a woman is into choking, that is not a reason, you know, to be murdered and absolutely. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about this. And before I dive into this, I am not like a BDSM or like kink expert or anything like that. Uh, I just, you know, I live in Las Vegas. I have many friends who are in, you know, into that stuff and in the community and everything like that. I just wanna hop on here and discuss this situation, all right? Um, so anyways, this article right here from the New York Post, it's titled, uh, Killed Backpacker Grace Mullane Was Into Choking BDSM Court Evidence. All right, so part of this, um, it says, the man on trial who cannot be identified by order of the court claims Mullane died accidentally after violent sex. He says he only buried her body in a suitcase in the woods because he was in shock and knew how terrible the death would look to police. According to the new evidence, one of the men she chatted with online told police she appeared to be at an explorative stage and quite open to suggestions, but was quite open to it and wanted to try it. I felt like Grace was more naive and trusting in the BDSM area. The users could be any undesirable person online and Grace had a naivety, he said, according to police records. All right, so first thing let's talk about, um, women as well as men out there, like it, you know, online dating, like I met my beautiful girlfriend Tristan through online dating, but like I, I could do a whole video on this if you want me to, like let me know down in the comments below, but be safe out there. Like I'm glad because I'm somebody who had social anxiety really bad. I wasn't the type of dude who would just like go up to chicks and like introduce myself and like, hey, you know, so I met a lot of people online and like even me being like a big dude, I was paranoid as hell. So if you are doing online dating, make sure you're being safe. Um, one of the best tips I can give you is just keep your friends in the loop. Let them know when you're going on a date with someone that you met online. Uh, something that you could do too, um, with, especially with an iPhone. I don't know if you could do it on Android, but like, I'm not even kidding you because of my anxiety and paranoia. Like, I would like, send my friends like, here's my location, you know what I mean? In case I like showed up to go on a date with a, <laughs> with a girl and then like all of a sudden I'm dead. You know, I think I even did that to Tristan. Like I told one of my friends like, hey, here's where I'm gonna be. But anyways, just be safe, especially when you're dating online. But now let's dive into the BDSM uh, aspect of it. Like, uh, so here's the thing. It's, it's, it's like, a risky situation and everybody has, you know, their own kinks and their own things. And like, do your thing. Like, let me tell you, like, again, like I'm very, you know, just open to people doing their own thing. I do not care whatever gets your rocks off, do your thing, but be safe, right? Like educate yourself. Like it's easy to be like, oh yeah, I think I'd be into that without properly knowing all of the safety precautions. Like when you put two people in an aroused state and you're doing dangerous activities, like that is just a recipe for disaster, right? Like this kind of amateur, uh, you know, mindset going into something that could be potentially dangerous, you know? So in the article they mentioned they had a safe word and everything like that. But I just want you guys to think about that, like educate yourself. If like, if these are things that you want to experiment with, educate yourself. I know there are a ton of YouTube channels, hell, you can go online and Google stuff, you know, whatever. Like just make sure you're being safe. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about the psychology of this. So one of my um, new favorite authors is uh, 
Dan Ariely. He just makes the best books and one of his uh, famous books is Predictably Irrational. And they did a study in there. And by the way, like if you, if you get grossed out by sex stuff, you might wanna leave like this. This study like, it bordered on unethical, <laughs> but you know, everybody agreed to it and everything like that. Uh, so anyways, they wanted to check the mind states of uh, men, you know, when they're aroused or not aroused, okay? So basically what they did was they, they got a bunch of, you know, uh, straight uh, male college students and they asked them a bunch of questions, okay? They asked them a bunch of questions just about, you know, sex and interacting with women, just like, you know, um, is this okay, you know, to hit on a stranger or to cat call? And, you know, there was kind of like these very mild questions, but then it got, you know, a little bit more, I don't know, wacky, okay? The questions started asking, I'm like, is it okay, you know, uh, if you're really attracted to a woman to, you know, slip a drug in her drink? Or is it okay to do, you know, uh, this to a woman, like, you know, and all these other things, right? And like most of the men, like 90 something percent of the men, they were like, no, that is insane. Like for that certain set, set of questions, it was like, absolutely not. So weeks later, they brought the young men back. And by the way, there were like waivers galore on this thing. So they brought the young men back. They gave them a laptop, a laptop that was covered in plastic cellophane, right? And they had them watch porn on the laptop and get aroused, if you will. And like aroused before ejaculation. And they asked them the same questions. And the results were madness, just madness. Like, is it okay to do this to a woman? Is it okay? That, that? Like their answers changed greatly. And basically, like just for everybody out there, men become Neanderthals when they're aroused, okay? And like, this is why it's so important to know how to be safe when you are practicing these types of sexual acts, right? Um, because, you know, during that situation, like not only will, you know, people do more than they would in a regular state, but they might be more aggressive. They might not be paying attention to their own strength and everything like that. Like, again, if you're into this stuff, do your thing. But, for me, like understanding how the human mind works, understanding and learning just more about how people act in different situations, it gives you more of a reason to be safe in these situations. So when it comes to the case of Grace Mullane uh, being murdered, I, I don't know. I don't know if this was you know, uh, a premeditated murder. We don't know if it was an accident, only the court will know. But I wanted to use this story as an opportunity to talk about this, all right? Like I made a video a while back, um, I'll link it down uh, below and up in the info card about like pro Jared um, and his thing like that. Like kinks are cool, like whatever you do, as long as you're not hurting anybody who doesn't wanna be hurt, like do your thing. Like it is totally up to you, right? Just do me a favor, be safe, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Like, I wanna dive into more videos on psychology, and trust me, most of the experiments I'll talk about were not as nasty as that one, and I left a lot of details out of that one too, um, just to kind of ease you guys into it, because I'm like, oh God, when I was listening to it in the book, I was like, oh, this is, this is nasty, right? But anyways, um, just be safe out there. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert. Uh, so if anybody has resources that they wanna put down in the comments, if you're willing, go for it. Um, but like I said, just there are people in that community here on YouTube where you can watch their videos. They talk about safety, the people I know. Uh, maybe I'll ask some friends if they can provide me with some resources who are into that and everything like they, you know, there's safety precautions. You just, you, you gotta be safe. All right, everybody. So anyways, that's all I got for this video. Um, I will be 
kind of off and on with my upload schedule this coming week because of the holidays. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you can stay up to date. I'll let you know when there's new videos. And uh, make sure you, that you're checking out TheRewiredSoul.com because I have a bunch of mental health blogs that I've been posting throughout the month of November and everything like that. So go check those out. There's some really, really good stuff in there. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books and merch and all that good stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.